what's new in Etherpad 1.5.0. Etherpad is a collaborative editor, which means that you can work together on a document. So say, for example, there's two people uh, in a meeting. I'm typing on the right hand side here. And as I'm typing, you'll see that the document on the left hand side is updated. Etherpad has a lot of advantages over other editors. The main advantage of Etherpad is that it's open source. So you've got complete document freedom. You can take your pads wherever you want. You can host your own Etherpad server. Now, the other advantage that Etherpad has is that it's completely extendable with plugins. And what that means is that all of these uh, additional things that you're seeing on the right hand side, such as being able to align text, they're actually not available in the core of Etherpad. They're plugins that you install. So as you can see, once we get into the plugins page, we have um, all of our install plugins and then we have all of the available plugins. So I'm gonna find a plugin, there we go, comments page. And I've just hit install on that. And that's gonna install the Etherpad plugin on our Etherpad instance. Now you can see that when I've reloaded the pad, I have the ability to uh, add a new comment to a section. So if I select this contents here, I can add a comment. And if I hover over it, it shows me which comment and, and vice versa. And I can also do uh, replying to comments and, and these kinds of bits of functionality. Now what else is new in 1.5? Well, we've done a lot in the way of page load performance. So that was about optimizing which files do and don't load when you access a pad. We also have a functionality to switch between pads, so that makes uh, switching much faster uh, if you're going from one pad to another. We have full pad exportability, so I can export this pad here and I can import this pad. Now, now the significant thing about the way that Etherpad handles this versus other editors, especially online ones, is that you, with Etherpad you get the full document revision. So here, because we've only passed one version, we only have this contents of Hello World, but if we had previous uh, edits to this document, all of that history will be there and you'd be able to go backwards and forwards in time and be able to maintain author state, so the color of the author and slight parts of the uh, author information. Also in 1.5, we've introduced uh, high res icons across the board. So as I zoom into here, if you're on in a high DPI screen, if you're on a projector or if you're on a 4K monitor, you'll be able to zoom in and, and still keep this really beautiful interface, really uh, sleek icons. Uh, without any distortion. One of the big significant things that we introduced is uh, backend tests. So we can now run backend tests across the board and we've still got the ability to do front-end tests which we've extended. So if I jump onto uh, the Etherpad URL and just type in, hit the URL test front-end, this will run through and test every single piece of functionality that, uh, or the majority of the functionality that exists, including uh, plugins which can also expose tests. And that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.